Hi, from intermediate code, I already finished that. Let's start 3 address code. 3 address code is a sequence of statement of the form x equal to y o p z, where x, y, z are names constant. It can be compiler in a temporary value like t1, t2, t3. And o p stands for arithmetic or logical operator. Let's see one example x plus y multiplication z. How will write in 3 address instruction? There are two operators, one is plus, another is multiplication. You need to find which have highest precedence. Multiplication have highest precedence over plus. So first we should evaluate multiplication. First we should evaluate multiplication means first we should write three address instruction for y multiplication z. So we'll write t1 equal to y multiplication z. Now this y multiplication z is in t1. Next we'll add x with t1. So x plus t1 equal to t2. This is a three address instruction for this. Here t1 and t2 are compiler generated temporary. Now what is advantage of three address code? By three address code we can represent complicated arithmetic expression and nested flow statement. And it is also easy to optimize than target code optimization. That's why we use a three address code as maximum programming statement can be represented in three address instruction. Three address code is a linear representation of syntax tree or a DAG. Syntax tree and DAG are non-linear representation while three address code is a linear representation and in which explicit name correspond to interior node. Explicit name means here compiler generated temporary. So compiler generated temporary stands for interior node of the graph. Let's see one example a plus a multiplication b minus c plus b minus c multiplication d. I already discussed how to design DAG for this. Just go through that lecture you can understand. Here I am just using a screenshot of DAG. So first we should evaluate b minus c. That's why we will write three address instruction for b minus c first b minus c equal to t1. Let me assign t1 for minus. Then we will do this multiplication. A multiplication t1 will be t2. So this multiplication stands for t2. Then we will do this multiplication. t1 multiplication d equal to t3. Next we should add A with t2. A plus t2 equal to t4. This plus stands for t4. Next we should add t4 and t3. So t4 plus t3 equal to t5. This plus stands for t5. You can see how many integer nodes same number of temporary we use. There are 5 integer nodes and here we used 5 compiler generated temporary. Next addresses and instruction. 3 address code is built from two concepts. One is address, another is instruction. And addresses can be one of the following. It can be either a name or a constant or compiler generated temporary. We can directly write source program name to appear addresses in 3 address code. But in implementation, a source name is replaced by a pointer to its symbol table entry. As you are keeping all information about the name in the symbol table. Compiler can deal with constant and variable. Next compiler generated temporary it is useful for optimizing compiler to create distinct name each time a temporary is needed. So you can use t1, t2, t3. The subscript can be different. So it will identify one temporary to another temporary. Let's discuss some common three address statement format. First x equal to y o p z, x y z can be name, constant or compiler generated temporary while o p stands for arithmetic or logical operation. Next x equal to o p y where o p is a unary operation. It can be unary minus, logical negation, shift operator and conversion operators. Next copy instruction x equal to y, y value will be assigned to x. Next, unconditional jump go to l. 
suppose some statement is given here you are writing go to l and here some level assigned l then after this go to l it will directly jump to this statement next conditional jump unconditional jump means just go to l conditional jump means some condition if it is true then it will go to that level so if x means if x is true go to l then if false x if x is false then go to l so it will go to label l according to true or false respectively for this if it will be true for this if it will be false suppose some statement are given and here if x go to l so if x condition is true then it will go to l and after that some more statement is given so if x will be false then it will execute its next statement so otherwise the following three address instruction in sequence will be executed next means if this condition is false it will execute the next instruction next conditional jump such as if x reload y go to l reload stands for relational operator like less than equal less than equal greater than equal are some relational operator so if this condition satisfy it will go to level l if this condition not satisfy then it will execute the next statement in sequence next index copy instruction of the form x equal to y i or x i equal to y so x equal to y i that set x to the value in the location i memory unit beyond location y means whatever value in location i will transfer to x next x i equal to y that set the content of location i unit beyond x to the value of y so whatever the value of y that will be set to i location so whatever value of y that will set to x i next address and pointer assignment x equal to ampersand y x equal to pointer y pointer x equal to y in three address instruction we can also write pointer and ampersand next function call and procedure call can also implemented in three address code param x that stands for parameter call pn or y equal to call pn that is for procedure and function call respectively return y that will return the y value for example you can write param x1 param x2 then up to param xn call pn so it will be generated as a part of call of the procedure p x1 to xn so this x1 x2 up to xn are parameter and p is a function call so in three address code you can also call a function we can write parameter we can return some value we can use conditional jump and unconditional jump we can use array we can use pointer so maximum programming statement we can represent in three address instruction in next lecture i will discuss some example of three address code if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you